Okay, in this Khan Academy track on dilating triangles, you will have to do one of two things. You'll dilate it by a scale factor that makes it smaller or by a scale factor that makes it bigger. When we take triangle ABC and we dilate it by a scale factor of one half, we're going to have a triangle that has sides that are one half the length of this current triangle. And we have to move every point closer to the center of dilation, which is P, um, by half, by halfway. So A has to move halfway closer to P, B has to move halfway closer, and C has to move halfway closer. So one way of doing this is to take the distance from B to P as an XY movement. So we go down to over two to get from B to P. And now what we're going to do is we need to place it in a position where half of that is traveled. So we might want to think about it in the other way. To get from B, P, point P, the center, to B, we go over two and up two. So we're going to do half that movement. We'll go over one and up one, and we will put our new P, our new B, there. Our new A. We had to get to A, we had to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces and up four. So now to the new A will be over four and up two. It will be half that. One, two, three, four, one, two. So the new point A is going to be right there. The new point C, we had to go to get to it, we had to go. We had to go over one, two, three, four, and down four. So now we'll go over two and down two and put the new point C. And our triangle will consist of something. I don't know why I keep losing my dots here. Um, over two, down two, put us here. The new triangle will look something like that. Uh, where was our point A? It was over one, two, three, four, and up two. So our new triangle will be drawn there. Um, we'll do the same idea if we have a, a triangle that gets bigger. For instance, here we have a scale factor of four. So this triangle, it says we're going to draw the image of ABC. So this is ABC, it's a triangle that we start with. But now we're going to make it bigger and the distance is going to increase by four. So A is already zero away from A, and A is the center of dilation, so A stays there. But B um, is one, two, three over, one, two, three over, and two down from A, so now we're going to have to go four times that. Four times three will give us 12, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, so we would drag one of the points there, we would drag one of the points in this green triangle, and I'm not in con, so I can't do it. So one of these points we would drag here. Another point we would drag by going over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me do that again. We went over three and down two to get to B. To get to the new B, we are going to go over 12, which is four times three, and down eight, which is four times two. To get to the new C, it's two away from A now. So two times four, which is our scale factor, we'd have to put the new C eight positions away from point A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would go there. B would be over here, one, two, and we'd be able to drag these points to those positions. If you have any more questions, let me know. I don't know why my points aren't staying on my drawings, but I think you get the general idea. We take our movement and we make it, whoops. We take our movement from one point to another. We take our movement from one point to another and we make it four times, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we make it four times what it was. And then we drag these green points to where they need to go. This would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our new triangle would be drawn from A to the new B to the new C and then up that way. You just have to drag those green points there.